So I came to the open days and one of the big things that I really um, really uh, connected with is every, um, people that you spoke to, student ambassadors or the lecturers that you spoke to for the topics you're interested in were really engaging and actually cared rather than just trying to give you a list of things that were like, oh yeah, we're in the top five for this and all that sort of stuff. They actually cared about, they, they asked me, what do I want to know? What do I care about? And that was something that really stuck with me, not to mention all the facilities and services that the university offers, um, pastoral, academic, uh, emotional and also clubs and societies as well. Population and geography is something that I sort of researched when I was looking at geography and it was quite interesting because um, the, it's the only course that offers demography as an undergraduate um, in the UK. Demography in general it gives you a more fuller picture of what's happening in the world and why things are happening in the world when geography focuses on its explanations. My experience is quite like holistic and uh, we learn some statistical skills, reporting skills, like oral skills, presentation skills, and all this sort of thing that the department try and do together. It sort of has your transferable skills to go into most fields, so like charity or statistical organisations or governmental organisations. The department has various links to uh, certain organisations. We've got a very strong link to the Office for National Statistics. It's very close in Fairham. And we have a lot of people from our course that goes and works for them. World Health Organisation we've got links to. I've got a professor in Global Health who does that. And World Bank and European Union and United Nations as well. So it's really good to sort of get in internship programmes as well. I chose Southampton uh, over you know places like Oxford and Cambridge because even even though it may be uh, they may be higher actually the communities that you that were that I saw at um, university and actually still having a really good research excellence was more important to me as a combination and I feel as though that's what university should move towards having more of a holistic approach to student life and student academia which is what Southampton's already really good at innovating.